Hey guys, Smoke Eater 908 here again. I uh, wanted to go a little different route again. Uh, like I say, all y'all who've been following me, you know that I've been uh, venturing in EDC and knives and gun related type videos to go along with our outdoors, you know. Um, one thing that I wanted to talk about, I'd seen a video not too long ago. It was talking about cutting seat belts. And kind of the style or the sharpness of the knife you need in order to cut a seat belt effectively, I guess, would be the word I'm looking at. Uh, as first responder or whatnot on a fire department, uh, you know, we're always told, you know, and if you look at a lot of these companies, what they sell that are rescue related, 95% of the time is all serrated stuff. I'm not a fan of serrations at all. Um, to me, they're impractical. I just, I don't like them. But there's a lot of people that like them. And there's a lot of people that think they are practical. And that's all well and good. There again, that's why they make plain edge knives, fixed blade knives, combo edge knives. Uh, so, you know, to each his own. And like I say, just because I don't agree with something that you like don't mean that it's wrong. You know, and just because you don't agree with something that I do or like, that don't mean it's wrong either. So, um, <clears throat> what I wanted to do is I've cut two seat belts out of a car. As you can see, there's the buckle. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to take four different things to test and see how well they cut a seat belt. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you right off the bat what we got. All right, this is a rescue tool made by Victorinox, Swiss Army, or whatever you want to say. And we have a serrated blade. That's going to be one of our instruments. The other one is old school. <laughs> Most all of my current knives has got a finer edge on them. And this one has been sharpened in them how many times. My dad used to carry this in the 70s. Uh, this knife's actually cut somebody before. But um, now he toes a gun. So go figure. But this one has, I put about a 400 grit edge on this one. So it's sharp, uh, but it's real toothy. Um, so we'll see how that does. Then I've got a spider co here that's actually got a polished edge on it that I sharpened it down on the Edge Pro with 10,000 grit stones and then stropped it off. And it's, it's really sharp. And then last but not least, we've got a Benchmade Houdini. So what I want to do is just kind of see how it is to cut the seat belts using three different variations of a blade sharpness, or four different variations. And if I had to bet, my choice is going to be the spider co with the 10,000 grit chocera stone that it's going to cut the seat belt better than anything so what we'll do is we'll put us a little tension on the belt and we'll see how well they cut all right as you can see we got us our belt up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go left to right. And I'm going to hold this one basically with four hands or four fans. Duh. Four fingers and a thumb. And I'm going to see about cutting it. <clears throat> That's a little work. Kind of had to saw that one. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. Four fingers and thumb holding the knife this certain way. We're going to see how this one here does. 
after really having to saw it too. It's cutting it. But boy, that thing is. I ain't really wasn't too impressed with that either. And that thing's relatively sharp. Hmm. Uh, anyway. Now we got the spider code that's been really sharp. That one went through relatively easy. Now let's see about the bench mate. Let's, we're just going to do it this way. I don't even know how that's going to work. That cut through pretty good. As you can see, that's actually got a kind of like a razor blade. So, I would say the two that cut the best I think we'll take the case and the bench mate out, just out of curiosity. We're going to see how we're going to pull it taunt good. Uh, this one here. You can see, that is a clean cut. And then this one. And as you can see, that cut it pretty good. And I'm just going to say, guys, that I believe that I would stick with a polished edge over a Saturday night. I bet that can't do that. <laughs> yeah, afraid not. Let's try that one more time. That was pretty interesting. There you have it, guys. We shredded that seat belt. All right, guys. I guess, in essence, my conclusion is, is if I had to use a knife to cut somebody out of a car, I would definitely prefer carrying a knife that had been sharpened up and stropped on a leather strop as compared to carrying a serrated knife. Like I say, I just don't see the purpose in the serrated knife. You could sharpen this sod buster here. You could sharpen it up enough to where it would do the same thing. And the Houdini works pretty good, actually. I'm actually kind of impressed with it, to be honest with you. You just got to get it in there just right. Now, and there again, granted, some people can't sharpen a knife to where it's like that. Uh, and like I say, there again, I'm not saying I'm a professional knife sharpener here, because I'm not. But, <clears throat> I think you take a knife that someone can really put a fine edge on, and it will far outperform a serrated knife. Just my opinion. Like I say, just because it's something I think, and you don't agree with, don't mean it's wrong. And if something you agree with, then I don't. Don't mean it's wrong either. Guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching my videos. Get out in the woods and enjoy yourself. Stay sharp. And be safe. See you guys.